Alrighty, so today we're just gonna try and um, finish leveling out the floor officially, uh, get the flooring in the very back done, and then if we have time, maybe we can start thinking about cabinets and the actual bed. Um, this is my last day of nice weather, and then it's gonna be raining for the next week, pretty much. So I guess we'll be working on the little things then. But anyways, we gotta get all the big stuff done now. So it's these wires that I really don't wanna put too much stress on. Um, and there is a big, there's a metal block that runs under here. Theoretically, I can just attach some wood to the bottom of this and it should, should support it just fine. I'm not gonna lie, that took a lot longer than it should, but it's good and sturdy now, so we can move on. All right, next we're gonna take the floor out and actually uh, go ahead and cut out the hatches so that we have those ready to go. All right, so it looks like a, a 16 by 16 cutout for the floor is, is gonna be best because I'm gonna have to have um, some support layered underneath it about an inch all the way around. So it'll leave me with about a 14 by 14 actual sized area I can reach into, which is enough, I think, to get to the stone go area. All right, I think I have the um, markings where I want them for the hatches. This is one of those um, measure 20 times, cut once kind of things. <laughs> I really don't want to mess this up, but I think I have it about where I want it. From around here into the back, I still have six feet to work with. So, plenty of room for the bed. I've already kind of scrapped the idea of putting the bed, like taking this chair out and doing the bed there, so. Have room for the bed there, um, and still plenty of room for counter space over on this side. Um, and we'll have access to these hatches, so. I think we're good to go. I I'm still gonna do a few more measurements just to make sure, 100%, that everything is the way it should be. But I, it looks like it's about ready to go. All right, we have them cut out for the stow and go. I'm gonna run over to Home Depot, buy some hinges, um, and then also buy some L brackets so that we can finish up all the, all the flooring stuff before, before all the rain starts coming. We'll be setting up lights and we'll keep on working. Okay, I have found wood glue, um, hinges, and the L brackets. Oh, and gloves, but I got a splinter. So now we just gotta find some like rubber trimming stuff that I can put around to keep stuff from rattling and from scrapping up the carpet. I don't know where that would be though. I'm assuming in the door place, because it, I don't know. All right, we're set. Oh, hey look, there's some uh, some people boondocking over there themselves. Be joining you soon. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut out the plank that's gonna cover this back part first, and then we'll use the um, scraps and some other scrap and such to, you know, make this little trim area. Alright, so we got the L brackets to um, attach this back panel, um, but the screws that came with it are a little bit too long, so we'll have to get some new screws for that. Uh, this is a, such a small piece of the van that we could probably just do that uh, in the carport when it's raining. But for the little hatch doors, we're going to go ahead and cut strips that we're going to put around to kind of help support it. And um, we'll definitely finish that tonight, because that's like the big, the big chunk of floor. And then we can, uh, you know, worry about this later. All right, so we pulled the floor back out. Um, you know, here's where those stow and go areas will be. And so those little strips that we just cut off, we'll go around and make like a little, uh, little ledge for the, uh, the hatch to, to rest on. So we're just gonna screw these on and then we can put it back in uh, with the hatches. All right, Aiden. <laughs> Step back so we can see you. This is my brother, Aiden. He is going to, uh, he's gonna be the camera band 
for a hot second here. Okay, so we still have to come up with a good way to actually like lift it up, but um, you can see here, this is what we screwed on underneath so that it actually has something to rest on, can hold support. But we'll have it here, um, and this is like where the driver's seat would be, kind of where I'm standing. And so this will flip up like this, and we'll be able to get stuff out of the stone go area. All right, got the floor back in. And now it has a little, uh, little bit of support around it. It's almost like 12.30, so I'm probably just gonna clean stuff up and we'll put the hatch and hatches and all that stuff on tomorrow. But um, still, a lot of progress here today. And there it is with the uh, covers put back on. All right, well, thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll get the hinges added on later. Um, and while, while it's raining over the next couple of days, we'll start working on things like how we're going to put the insulation up in the windows and all that stuff that's kind of like smaller little things. Um, but had to go till late this evening. I had to get all the big, you know, large-scale carpentry stuff taken care of but now it looks like we're we're good to go for it a little bit so cool I'll um see y'all in the next one I'm gonna do that weird little hand outro thing